The Money in the Bank pay-per-view will be streaming live this Sunday, live on Peacock, in front of the returning WWE Universe. The crowds are back. We are officially back in business and i am excited for this pay-per-view just for the fact that the fans are returning it's going to be the first pay-per-view that welcomes back the fans officially and i am huge excited man this is going to be an excellent pay-per-view it's going to be awesome the car looks stacked dream matches dream opponents going at it is going to be amazing and i can't wait for this pay-per-view if you guys are new make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel as we're on the road to 500 subscribers and let me know what are your predictions down in the comment section below for money in the bank as i'm about to give you guys mine let's get straight into it the first match i'm gonna be talking about is the men's money in the bank contract ladder match man this field is huge it's stacked I mean, this is unpredictable. A lot of people got Drew McIntyre winning, but you got to look at the other talent involved. You got people like Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E, John Morrison, Ricochet, Riddle, and Kevin Owens. I actually wouldn't mind any of these guys winning because all of these guys have talent. All of these guys are good wrestlers, and I just know this is going to be a banger. Ladder match could be one of the best ladder matches we've gotten in a hot minute. I mean, just having, you know, Ricochet, John Morrison, Kevin Owens, Riddle, you know they're going to pull some crazy spots. You got big man like Big E and Drew McIntyre. You know they're capable of putting some good spots. And you got additional talent like Seth Rollins and Shisuke Nakamura. You know it's going to be a good damn match. And I'm excited for this one. Now, here's the thing. Who's going to win the match? Let's do it this way. Ricochet and John Morrison. I know they're going to put on a show, but there's no way that they're winning the money in the bank contract shinsuke nakamura he's been getting a solid push but do i see him being in that main event scene anytime soon nope so i'm gonna cross him out seth rollins really doesn't need this match and you can already tell they're setting up a few between him and edge for SummerSlam. so obviously seth rollins won't win this match kevin owens can a, kevin owens could be a good winner but i just don't see him winning i just feel like w has no plans for him to be in the main event scene again so I'm going to cross up Kevin Owens. It's really down to Big E and Drew McIntyre. Do they want to pull the trigger on Big E? Or do they want to go with the obvious and give it to the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre? Now, storyline purposes, I guess it does make sense to give it to Drew. Since he can't compete for the WWE title as long as Lashley's the champion. And let me tell you something. Lashley's not losing that title anytime soon. And I know they want to put Drew back in the title scene. Especially since fans are returning. So, I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre. I feel they're going to go that way. I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre. I'm not going to like it, though. I hope I'm wrong this time. This is one of the few times I hope I'm wrong. Because I don't want to see Drew McIntyre win. But deep down inside, I really know he's going to win. Because that's just WWE. It's their logic. And I know they're not going to pull the trigger on Big E just yet. So, I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre to win the men's ladder match. Up next, you have the Viking Raiders taking on AJ Styles and Omos, the current Raw Tag Team Champions. Now, this one I expect to be a very good tag team match. There's going to be a lot of high spots. But at the end, I think this one's the safest bet of the night. I don't see a way WWE gives the Viking Raiders a tag team titles right now. Because I do believe AJ Styles and Omos are going to hold those titles to SummerSlam or they will lose to RK Bro. That's just my prediction, but that's a topic for another video. But for this match, I expect it to be very good, like I said. But AJ Styles and Omos will retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. Up next, we have Rhea Ripley defending her Raw Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair. Well, we're getting this match again, and I'm kind of disappointed. It's not a stipulation match. It's basically going to be the same match that we've gotten before. And man, this match, it should be fine. It should be a good match. I expect it to be better than WrestleMania Backlash for sure. I don't know if it's going to live up the WrestleMania match. That match was just so good. But I don't know what's going on with Rhea Ripley lately. I just don't find her that interesting like I did when she came in. There's like something off about her. Like, I don't even know what's her character. This is my brutality. Like, how is that a character? All of a sudden, she's a heel. Then she's a face. She's a face using heel tactics. Then she's a heel, but acting like a face. Like, I don't know where Rhea Ripley is at this point. Now, she's an amazing talent. We know she's a good wrestler. 
I'm not going to sit up here and be like, she's a bad wrestler. But right now, I don't know what's been going on with her. She's just been lacking something. Like in all her matches, there's always something lacking. Like, I wish we got that Rhea Ripley back. Maybe they're changing her moveset or something. But honestly, man, i just rather see Charlotte Flair as a champion right now. Charlotte Flair is the better talent. And I feel like Charlotte Flair, we're just going to have to accept it. That she's going to pass Ric Flair. Might as well as get that thing out of the way. Charlotte Flair becomes 14-time Women's Champion this Sunday at Money in the Bank. Because that is my prediction. Charlotte Flair will become your new Raw Women's Champion. Up next, we have the almighty WWE Champion Bobby Lashley defending his WWE title against Kofi Kingston. Are we going to get Kofi Mania 2? Is Kofi Kingston really about to become the new WWE Champion? Let me break it to you. There's no chance that that happens. The almighty era will continue as Bobby Lashley will successfully retain his WWE Championship. And let me give you a clue. What happened this past Monday on Monday Night Raw? Xavier Woods won. Makes you believe, oh, if Xavier Woods won, Kofi's going to win. First of all, Lashley's not losing back-to-back -back right now. There's no way that's happening. He's not losing back-to-back -back in less than a week. And that's the 50-50 booking by WWE. They're going to give Lashley the L when it's not for the title. But once it's for the title, he's going to retain. It's just WWE logic. They think it makes sense. It kind of does. But, you know, it's just it's always the same logic every time. And they're just giving it away. Now it's even more predictable that Bobby Lashley is going to retain. Especially how mad he is. He's probably going to dominate. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised if this is mostly a squash match. This match is going to go, Lashley dominates like the whole match. At the end, Kofi Kingston is going to get some momentum. The crowd is going crazy. He's going to hit his finisher like twice. He's going to pin him. Then Lashley kicks out with a near fall. You know, hurt lock. One, two, three. It's over. Bye-bye, Kofi. This is how I expect that match to go. As the almighty WWE champion will retain his title. Up next, we have the Women's Money in the Bank contract ladder match. For this match... I expect it to be very good. Definitely has potential to be the best women's ladder match. Because one thing with the women, they've had so many good matches, good stipulation matches. But the Money in the Bank match always felt flat. Like, it was always decent, but it's never been to a point where like, oh, this was a good match. It was always just decent. I don't know if it was for the talent around or what. But in the past, it's been amazing talent. I just feel like... They don't have good chemistry in a ladder match, most women. But for this one, I could definitely expect it to be very good. You have Naomi, Asuka. You know they're going to give you some high spots. Liv Morgan could add to the match. Alexa Bliss is going to do something crazy in this match. Natalia is just there for veteran reasons. I don't even know why she's there. She's the champ, so you already know she's not winning. You have Nikki Cross or Nikki Ash, whatever she's going by. She could make it a little bit good, I guess. And you have a talent like Selena Vega who could definitely make the match even better. There's still like one spot left, which I don't know who's going to go to. Maybe it could be like Tony Storm or something. But let's just put it that spot. There's no way it's going to win. Like whoever it is, I know they're not going to win. We'll cross that out. Natalia, do I even have to say nothing? She's not winning. Asuka's not winning. Nikki Cross is not winning for the fact that she won last night. Because basically, whoever wins this four to four way matches are basically the ones that are going to lose for sure. Then Naomi, I'm positive she's not going to win. The last ones that I have is Liv Morgan, Zelina Vega, and Alexa Bliss. I think Zelina Vega just came back. So there's no way they're going to pull the trigger on her that fast. So I'm going to cross up Zelina Vega. It's down to Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss. Now, I'd rather go to Liv Morgan because Alexa Bliss really doesn't need it right now. You know, she could just go for the title if she wants to. Not for Liv Morgan. This will be huge for her career. Alexa Bliss already won the Money in the Bank contract, so she didn't even need it. And she's already won like six women's championships, like three tag team titles. Alexa Bliss is good. She don't need a Money in the Bank contract like Liv Morgan does. Because Liv Morgan doesn't get opportunities like that like I feel like she deserves. Because she's an amazing talent and she has good work rate. So I feel like Liv Morgan is going to win this match. That is my prediction. And finally, we go into our main event. 
So Rated R Superstar Edge challenges Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. This match is going to be awesome. This should have been the main event at WrestleMania. Because obviously you guys know Edge won the Rumble. So he was guaranteed to main event WrestleMania in a singles match. But then some yes man Daniel Bryan had to interfere in the feud and add himself to the triple threat match. Which was fine. It made it good. But it's good that we're getting a one-on-one -on -one match. It's good that we're officially getting a one-on-one -on -one match. I am hyped. And I have high expectations for this match. But here my low expectation. I have no expectations that Roman Reigns is losing that title. I am 100% sure. I don't care what happens. Ash could do 20 spears on Roman Reigns. It don't matter. The Tribal Chief will not lose his Universal Championship this Sunday. That is not a prediction. That is a spoiler for you guys. I'm going to add a little spoiler to this video. Roman Reigns will successfully retain his Universal Championship. He will go on to face new challengers and insert himself in a big feud with John Cena at SummerSlam. That's, I'm getting out of topic, but that's like my prediction that I think is going to happen. But yeah, this match will be good. But Edge will have a good showing. But at the end, Roman Reigns will retain his title. And that has been it for the predictions. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell. It really helps. And peace out.